You actually need to look this earlier than tomorrow morning due to the fact the following day morning we're going to get CPI, and a few people are speculating that CPI was certainly leaked today, right here in this video. We can smash down expectancies for CPI from all of your fundamental banks that post their CPI expectancies and what some individuals are announcing about CPI and the way that might affect our markets. And as continually, we can cross over everything you need to know in unique regards to Tesla, which include how the following day could affect Tesla inventory. First and most important, it's worth mentioning the S&P 500 changed into up zero. 98% nowadays call it around 1% the entire week's anticipated flow this week become about 1 and 12%. So that you did this the day before CPI, I see why a number of human beings are announcing CPI become leaked, and I suppose Sven Hendrik on X says it properly. First they eliminated down quarters, then they removed down months. Then they eliminated down weeks, and now they've eliminated down days, and it clearly feels that way because the S&P 500 has now been up 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 days in a row. And if CPI is available in good day after today, that might imply many greater green days in truth that is now the highest the RSI has been in the course of this beyond 12 months presently. The RSI on the S&P is at 81,197 that is simply getting to extremely excessive ranges for any of my folks that like arithmetic, you are more than popular deviations, better than your 20-day shifting common, you are above this pinnacle, cease Ballinger Band. Now, through almost one half of 1%, that's simply way excessive. It is also being reported that net bullish positioning in fairness futures amongst asset managers and leverage budget has touched the best stage in a decade in keeping with JP Morgan first, and major CPI comes out at 8. 30 within the morning Eastern widespread time day after today. Nick Timmer residents as usually placed out this chart of your major banks that placed out CPI targets or estimates, and wow, so that you're waiting for an average forecast of 0.22%. Now truly, for the reason that this became posted on July 8th at 5 p.m., it is now July 10th, you've got simply visible the median forecast crossed down to about 0.21%. However, we have the estimates here. Financial Institution of America is expecting 0.24 Barley Zero. 22 PNB Parabase is zero. 22 City Organization is zero. 17 Deutsche Bank, 0 0.25 Goldman Sachs, zero. 21 Morgan Stanley, zero. 27 Namira, zero. 1 4 TD Safety, zero. 18 United States of America, zero. 16, and it looks as if out of these most important banks, Barclays has a tendency to be the maximum accurate, and Barclays is expecting center CPI zero. 22%, and if we test what fund Strat simply stated today, they are saying if June core CPI is under zero. 25% this in all likelihood triggers rotations in small caps. Industrials financials and agar fangs are base case, remains that July is an advantageous month for stock, supported with the aid of softening inflation photograph and with the aid of the nevertheless lingering skepticism toward shares. And you can see here through this chart, April and might CPI came in better than predicted now for last month, particularly that changed into a splendid CPI record. You had been awaiting 0.30%. You got here in at zero. 16%. So even this month's wide variety of looking ahead to zero, 0.21% is a little bit better than closing months. However, take a look at a number of those returns, the S&P 500 one day later, after the April CPI was up 1.2%. And in the future, later after May CPI file changed into up, almost 1% five days later, you had been both up almost 2% for May and up 1.1% for April. However, the last terrible CPI report we had, which changed into in March, you have been down approximately 1% the day of CPI, after which five days later you had been down 3.6%. In fact, if the real CPI estimate for core month over month is between 0 0.1 and 0. 22% meaning the most effective banks which are higher is Bank of the United States 0.24% Dishi Financial Institution at 0.25% and Morgan Stanley at 0. 27% so odds are pretty right. We are available in lower than what amusing strat proposed could give us a fantastic reaction inside the markets of 0.25% in Truth City Organization. A uh, bar, Clay's P and B Paribus, Goldman Sachs, Namira TD Securities, 
and UBBS believe we're going to are available in low, and JP Morgan came out with their scenarios for CPI and what that would do to markets, and they say there is basically an 82. 5% risk the markets will pass higher, and these are the specifics, so if CPI comes in under zero. 1% zero. 10% there's a two. 5% opportunity of that the S&P 500 would benefit 1 to 1.75% between 0 0.10 and 0. 15% JP Morgan thinks there is a 15% chance of that, and the markets would gain 1 to at least 1 and a 1.5% between 0 0.5 and 0.20%. There's approximately a 35% risk that, and the markets benefit a 1.5% to at least 1%. That's quite a whole lot what occurred these days. What? And that's what JP Morgan said is most possibly to show up among zero. 20 and 0.25%. It is a 30% probability markets would advantage a Q% percent to zero, 75%, and among 0.25 to zero. 30% of 15% threat markets might be down 0.75 to at least one. 25% the next day and above zero. 3% markets uh, would be down 1.25 to two. 5% with a 2.5% opportunity, so even in JP Organ's most likely situation, that 35% chance scenario they anticipated the markets might cross up a half of percent to 1%. And also, you went up almost exactly 1%. Today, I see again why people assume the CPI report was leaked. And if you need my honest opinion, it probable was leaked massive cash in all likelihood, continually received CPI reviews earlier than their sincerely released to the general public the query, is does this make markets fall coming the next day or now not? And I assume it's a tough component to reply. The simplest component that I will definitively say is markets are stretched to all hell. You're overbought in a way that you have not been in what years I agree with. I do not suppose the RSI has been this high in actually years on the S&P. No, you have to cross again to pre-pre on Rona. Um, again, in 2018, whilst the RSI changed into sitting at 87 at the S&P 500. So each time you get to those severe levels of being overbought, it does generally tend to cause a correction. Now, last time the S&P was this overbought, he got a little bit extra than a correction. Um, the S&P really ended up falling approximately 12% toward the uh, starting of 2018. And it, it, it did spark basic greater volatility. Now is that coming again? I do now not understand, however, I think your odds are quite high, which you honestly do fall in the subsequent couple of days. And just like we rallied off of a horrific CPI file, a couple of CPI reports ago, the markets did become coming back. I, I suppose it is able to be, to a few degree, the alternative this time round. Perhaps you've priced in an amazing CPI document, and it would not surprise me if markets are marginally down even on a great document at the least. A record that comes in consistent with expectancies, and the divergence maintains to grow with the same weighted S&P, only up 3.83% this wire, and the market-weighted market cap weighted S&P up over 177% on the same time the Russell 2000 is best up 1.2% this year. And it's far being suggested the INF well-known Warren Buffett indicator has officially hit 195%. That's the very best in records, better than the bubble worldwide fine and financial crisis. And the 2022 co-crash in ultimate week saw the fifth largest weekly influx to U.S. shares due to the fact 2008 unmarried stock inflows hit a new weekly file excessive in step with Financial Institution of the USA. And Isabel Nathan X says the percentage of S&P 500 shares above their 20-day transfer in common is showing signs and symptoms of a bearish divergence, which may be an early caution signal of a capacity marketplace correction. And this is whilst you truly have inventory which can be declining proper, which might be breaking beneath their 200-day transferring average at the same time markets just retain to go better commonly while you get this divergence, you do generally tend to see a fall and the S&P 500 has now hit the 78. 6% extension off the March 2020 low, that's one of the last Fibonacci stages, and it is being mentioned as well, that fairness position to name ratios dropped to the bottom degree in 365 days, which essentially just manner. The, the call trade is crowded at this point. Human beings aren't apprehensive, they're no longer defensive for disadvantage, none of that. And that is one of the extra exciting things approximately nowadays. The Dow become up 1.09%, S&P up 1.02%. The Nasdaq up 1.18%, even the Russell was up 1.1%.
but the VIX became additionally up 2.72%. So there was a few put activity these days. Nick Timel fees on a, it didn't pass markets. It turned into, quote, boring within the phrases of one lawmaker. But the Fed chair's testimony on Capitol Hill this week laid the floor paintings for price cuts using what may also turn out to be a greater durable footing than the only that collapsed in April. And one aspect that Powell said these days throughout his testimony that truly stuck out to me became this Powell. The number one component that does hold me conscious at nighttime is warding off a extreme downturn whilst bringing inflation down. Quote, I am trying to make choices that provide that the nice risk to manifest this is the one that is the issue that I reflect on consideration on inside the we hours basically announcing he's scared or concerned, approximately causing an excessive amount of economic ache, and, and that may be one purpose why markets did outperform nowadays. How changed into requested that question, especially what's he most involved about? Commonly, he responds with cyber safety. Due to the fact we've handled banking crises, we've dealt with a plague, we've treated this.